Does anyone spy the prairie dogs? Couple right on the path here. Hi guys. Guys, we are literally like 10 feet from this prairie dog right now. Just does not care. Oh, later. We are at Gateway Mesa Open Space. Yeah, I guess we could get in the actual road here. But that's muddy. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> What's a little mud on a trek? That's how you know it's a good trek. Yeah. Maybe I'll walk through this puddle too. <laughs> Just because we can. Shoes are never as waterproof as they say they are. That's, <laughs> That's true. Probably a bad idea. Yeah. Ooh, this is a little goopy here. We had a nice productive day. What did we do today, Travis? Edited a vlog. Do you guys hear this guy's screaming. this prairie dog? Hold on. What the heck, little dude? We're not doing anything to you. So yeah, edited, Travis edited the vlog. I cleaned our shower today, that was a job. <laughs> um, how long did it take me to clean our shower today? Probably like two hours or something. But you know what, when you only clean, ooh, this is really muddy. Okay, extracting ourselves from this mud pit. Um, when you only clean the shower once, every six months or so six months or so yeah that's accurate um it's really you know it's fine that it takes you two hours it is to be expected um and then it just feels really good when you're done so i am just riding that post cleaning high right yeah. now <laughs> immediately took a shower in the clean shower yes. just feeling good living our best life over here Gave the dog a bath in that shower before it was cleaned. Yes, pre-cleaning. So I didn't immediately get it dirty. Because I probably would have ended our marriage over that. <laughs> yeah. So that was a good choice. Um, my arms are definitely like sore and weak from the shower cleaning. <laughs> yeah. So I'm having a hard time holding the camera up, to be honest with you. It's good. It builds character. And after this, we have some slow cooker ribs that are gonna go in the oven smothered in barbecue sauce so pretty yeah. excited about that yeah um, first time trying dr pepper ribs it's a pinterest recipe we'll uh we'll link to it if it's any good Oop. sorry <laughs> just uh le yeah, it's pretty leaping funny. over some like mud pits here this uh, hooks up to our backyard but we were feeling a little lazy today and just got in our car and drove to the other end of it rather than walking the trail out here from our house. So, I mean, this is still going to be like two miles. Yeah. But it would have been like eight. <laughs> yeah. That's too much. It's too much walking for today. Especially since we didn't get started till like four. Yeah. What with the shower cleaning. It's very peaceful up here. This is where we break off. Where do we go? This way. Huh. Listen, there is no trail. We blaze our own trail. Oh. Watch out for the cactuses. View. Oh, 
I'm on top of the world. <laughs> it's very high. Is your vet from here? <laughs> Where's our vet? Um, it's. Oh uh, no, it's up here. That's the vet. Guys, Oop. that's our vet. <laughs> that's silly. Gonna not fall. Hope nobody is scared of heights. That's yeah. beautiful. Look at this cute little guy. He's got little Mickey Mouse ears. Comfy? Hard as a rock. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Ready, ready. Little lizard. Do do do. Kind hey, of buddy. a chunky little guy. So look up what kind he is. Yeah, if anyone knows, let us know. So this loop we're doing is called Chuck's Loop. I don't know who Chuck is. Whew, it is extremely bright walking in this direction. I am regretting not bringing sunglasses. So, the reason we're, um, out here today with no atlas is because we've been walking him every Saturday and Sunday for the last couple of weeks now um, but last weekend was awful he um, <laughs> I don't know what it is he's very like leash reactive um, slash just does not like it when he can't go say hi to every single dog that he sees. Um, and gets really angry about that. So, yeah, our walk last week was miserable for all of us. <laughs> and I vowed to never do that again. So, this weekend, we, um, Brought him to the dog park yesterday, and then today we are doing a walk without him. He gets to stay home and snooze, and uh, we get to have a nice, peaceful adventure without either of us torturing the other. So, we may go back to some training one of these days, but not today. Yeah. I mean, if anyone else has a dog in general, but also like a dog who's reactive to certain things, like you will know exactly what we're talking about. Like it's very hard to be consistent yeah. enough for the training to do any good. Get like a controlled enough situation is hard. Yeah. Look at these sweet little round cactuses. This guy's real pretty. It's very red. I don't know if you can yeah. see it on camera, but... So anyway, those are our dog struggles. We are, we are not perfect dog parents by any stretch. Um, but honestly, like, we love our boy just the way that he is. And maybe we will just let him continue to be that way. Maybe we'll do some extra training for him. Um, try to get him more comfortable in some of those situations. I don't know. Hey Travis. Hey. I love you. I love you too. But I can't stop thinking about those ribs. <laughs> I chose this path but I'm not sure it's the correct path. We're on the wrong side. <laughs> Do you think we can jump it? Let's find out. All right. 
All right, Trav, you go first. You're not even gonna get a running start? Oh God. All right, uh, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. Oh, easy, <laughs> cleared it easy. There are blur bluebird houses out here, too. Blurbird houses? Blurbird houses. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's home. We won't disturb them. Oh, cool. We found it. <laughs> <laughs> A little unclear where the trail is. Look at these little guys. Little floofs. Big floof. <laughs> so our healthy lifestyle plan is, is going okay so far, right? Yeah. We have been exercising every Saturday and Sunday. We have drastically cut down on our caffeine intake um, and we have also drastically cut down on our alcohol intake. Does Dr. Pepper have caffeine? Yeah, like as much as the Mountain Dew. What? No. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that. If you make ribs with it, does the, do the ribs become caffeinated or is that not a thing? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so, so far We've been successful in our health journey. I think the key is to set a very low bar. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Remember when we used to go backpacking <laughs> and we would do like 10 miles in a day with like a 50 pound pack? I yes. mean, we didn't feel great afterwards. <laughs> but we did it. But <laughs> yeah. Could we do that now? I don't know, probably, probably not. The parking lot is in sight, guys, but first we have to cross our biggest obstacle yet. The mud run. What's your strategy, Travis? Right across the top. All right, let's see it. Uh-oh. Pretty sloppy. Ew. Can you guys hear the squelching sound, or does that not come through on camera? opening the hood, guys. What's he doing? Everything hey. all right in there? Oh, yeah. I changed that air filter yesterday, so I just want to make sure, like, that cap hadn't come off or anything like that. My handyman. <laughs> uh. You're just gonna put that all on video? My... Yep. Uh. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> ribs. 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 Let's go! So here we are. Got my Dr. Pepper ribs, my Dr. Pepper float, extra souse. One dog that is very interested in what's going on here. <laughs>